Hi, I'm Sabrina with IMA, and today I'm going to show you how to spike an IV bag. There are many different IV solution and drip sets that you may need to set up, but generally they're all set up the same way. Today we're going to go step by step to show you how to spike an IV bag. The first step is to gather all your materials and then follow all proper PPE precautions. For demonstration purposes today, I won't be wearing gloves. After you've grabbed all your materials, you'll need to then do the six rights of medication administration. Those six rights are right patient, right medication, right dose, right time, right route, right documentation. Pull the tab out of the bag while holding it upside down so it doesn't spill. Most bags have two ports, one for the IV line and one for the medication. Make sure that you're pulling the tab from the IV line port. Next, you'll insert the spike of the IV line into the bag. The spikes can be sharp, so make sure that you don't poke yourself while pushing the spike into the bag. Make sure the roller clamp is in the closed position on the IV line. Then flip the bag over and squeeze the chamber to fill it full of fluid. You want the chamber to be around halfway full. After you've filled the chamber half full, you will need to open the roller clamp to purge the line of any air. After you've purged all the air out of the line, you're ready to attach the line to an IV. Thanks for watching and check us out at IdahoMedicalAcademy.com.